Hey everybody, it's your hospitality friend Glenn here, and I am on the show floor at High Tech. Yeah, still, even though the event may be over, I've been here for days and days and days having great conversations. I want to thank our friends over at Unifocus, Univocus.com. Check them out. Technology that delivers value. I've got hospitality royalty here. Bob Gilbert, founder, president, CEO, HSMAI. How are you, man? We're good, Glad. How are you doing? I'm feeling good. I love this event. I'm having such a great time. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how the world of sales and marketing is changing. One of the things we were discussing is we got to break down those silos. Absolutely. And COVID gave us a great opportunity to throw out all the things that we thought were rules and reinvent ourselves. How are you seeing it? Absolutely. That's exactly what we're seeing through HSMAI Lens. Mm -hmm. you know, here at iTech, we've had a, a revenue management strategy conference. We've co-located yep. here for over 20 years. Yep. But you know, for the last few years, we've had people from our marketing conference come to the revenue conference and people from the revenue conference go to the marketing conference. So that could it sounds like you, you could create the Reese's peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And just to cover it with chocolate, and I'll be happy. But but the, but that convergence has been happening organically, and I think the acceleration or the reset was really, as you said, it was pandemic related. Yep. You know, positions were eliminated. People had to get aligned. They had to create efficiencies. They had to optimize revenue. They had to bring money to the bottom line of hotels, and and so the silos began to evaporate. At least in most companies which cu cultures recognize that the only way to optimize revenue and bring profit to the bottom line is to op optimize your mix of business and, and, uh, and, and bring, it, bring it in as, as efficiently as you can. And so at the association, we saw a spike in our right. usage of a lot of our online training programs for people to get plugged in and cross-train in, in sales and right. revenue and vice versa. So, so what we've been doing here this year now is uh, globally – We've taken not only the conference we co-locate with high tech, but the other ones we do globally and brought all those people together. And so you have these massive commercial strategy conferences that are everybody on the same path in their own swim lane, but they're all aligned on the same road with the same objective. And, and that's what commercial strategy conferences do. And that, by defa de default, is the definition of a commercial strategy conference. Right. All right. You're doing a great job of breaking down the swim lanes, but are the people that are involved in your conference, is it their companies also finding success, breaking down those swim lines in order, in swim lanes in order for everyone to work more efficiently together? Like in any industry, it's different per company, right? Yeah. But everybody's at a different stage of the spectrum. One of the things we released last year was a self-assessment for organizations to identify oh, cool. their maturity of where they are in, in, in adopting a commercial model. And statistically, it's been proven that companies that operate under this commercial mindset are more profitable. They get higher customer engagement. You know, the, there, there's more repeat factors, higher loyalty. So statistically, those companies that are ahead of the curve in terms of their adoption of this commercial mindset, they're making more money and their customers are happier. So we're trying to just move companies along on that spectrum, yeah. but it's gonna be different per company. There are brands at every end of the spectrum, there are management companies at every end of the spectrum, and there's ownership groups at every end of the spectrum. And the fragmentation of our industry sometimes trips up their ability to move on the, on the spectrum, but we're there to keep pushing them along the way. Now, I was uh, fortunate enough along with uh, my podcast partner, uh, Anthony Melcuri, to do the uh, uh, keynote speech here this morning as we're recording this. One of the things that we talked about was uniting all of the stakeholders, right? And I think that there's been a fundamental lack of understanding between like owners, operators, asset managers, yeah. investors, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, customers, yeah. all of that. Yeah. So how are the people that come to your events really thinking about uniting all the stakeholders when it comes to like technology, sales and implementation and the success behind it. Well, it's going to happen. And, and uh, I'm not sure you got a preview of this or not, but Frank yep. announced it yesterday. We're announcing it tomorrow. But uh, HFA, HSMAI, HFTP, HAMA and AHOA are, are four founding partners of a new coalition of associations that are, are introducing this fall a new commercial strategy certification. Uh, oh. And it will be designed for general managers, for asset managers, for every one of those stakeholders in the food chain that need to understand what commercial strategy is all about. So we're looking forward to, to, to releasing that this fall. It's going to be a, a baseline educational program that will help everybody start on the same page so that they can take their organizations wherever they need to go. Beautiful. I love it. Bob, thank you so much for uh, talking to me today. I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope you checked out uh, unifocus.com. Meanwhile, 
That's Bob Gilbert. I'm Glenn Hausman. Check out NoVacancyNews.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.